Hey everyone, Brian Haley here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can swap multiple pipes in a pipe network at the same time. Now if you're not familiar with swapping parts, one thing you don't want to do with a pipe is simply change the diameter of it. Here I have an 18 inch pipe, I can go ahead and select it, go into the pipe properties, and I can change the diameter. So on the part properties, I'll scroll down, I'll find the inner pipe diameter, and I'm going to change that to a 12 inch pipe. Select OK, and you can see it does indeed change the size of the pipe. However, a pipe has multiple properties that are important to a whatever size pipe. There's different rules, there's different styles, there's different pay items. Simply changing the diameter of a pipe only changes the diameter. So this 18 inch pipe now has a 12 inch diameter. Everything else about it is still 18 inches. So when you're doing this, what you want to do is you want to swap the part. So when I grab this, I can go ahead and swap the part. So I'm going to swap this back to an 18 inch pipe. And now it is an 18 inch pipe. If I were to swap it to a 12 inch pipe, instead of simply changing the diameter, what you'll notice is the style changed as well. That style comes from the parts list. Let me go ahead and swap this back. Back to an 18 inch. And again, you'll notice the style changed. Now, I have a lot of pipe in this drawing and I want it all to be 12 inch pipe. If you're going to use a swap part, you have to swap each one individually, unless you're using Civil 3D 2020 and the Analyze Gravity Network tools. Up here on the Analyze tab on the ribbon, I have Analyze Gravity Network. I'll go ahead and grab my part pipe network. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the network details. Now, if you're just wanting to swap multiple parts, you don't have to worry about the rest of this. So I'll go ahead and go into my network details. And in here, you can see it shows the pipe diameter. And what I can do, see if I can find it. It's one of these here. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, no. There it is. You can actually see that it highlights in the drawing when you select it. So there's that same pipe. And if I go ahead and change the diameter here, Hey, that's my parts list. And if I change that to a 12 inch pipe, well, nothing changed. Well, you got to click in your drawing for it to update. And you can see it's a 12 inch pipe now. The beautiful thing is, is I can do this for all my pipe. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the first one, shift select the last one, or you can use your control key to select individual rows. And now when I swap one, well, it deselected everything else. So the trick here is when you select the pipes that you want to swap, hold the shift key down when you select the diameter. So when I select the diameter with the shift key held down, you can see they all remain selected. And I'm going to change this to an 18 or a 12 inch pipe. You can see it going through the list here, changing them. And once it's done again, to see the changes, I actually have to click in the drawing and you can see they've all swapped to 12 inch pipes. Unfortunately, there's no option to do this for structures yet. It's just pipes. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping structures will come soon. Thanks for watching.